Well, so much has changed in our country over the past decade. Hopefully, we're a little wiser. We're definitely a little more guarded and perhaps a bit more cynical. Larry Himmel shares some thoughts on that very subject. Every morning, Miguel Paradis unfurls the flag outside of his Oak Park home. We believe it's just a, another way to honor our amazing country we have here. In Lincoln Park, the colors always wave in front of the Bells house. Every day is for the uh, United States of America and it's for the uh, military as well. In Point Loma, Kaylee Leonard displays Old Glory daily. It's kind of a symbol of neighborhood pride as well as city pride and uh, country pride. After 9-11, flags flew everywhere. Americans showed their true colors. A decade ago, a group of cowards, fueled by jealousy and blinded by hatred, attempted to tear apart the very fabric of our lives, fabric inherently woven into the stars and stripes. But Americans closed ranks. We mourned, we comforted, we healed, we raised our flags. Just like Patty Holman does every day. To remember that we have young men and women overseas protecting our interests and protecting our country. After 9-11, the end of innocence was awash in a wave of patriotism. We were once again committed to our country. We gathered at memorials. We sang at sporting events. We vowed to never forget. But that was then, and now is now. Beset by economic woes, we are a nation divided, a land of finger pointers and finger givers. We've worn down, we're fed up. At times we feel helpless and almost hopeless. It must seem like a small victory for those forces of evil who would attempt to splinter us through fear. We need a renewal of faith, the kind of faith in America Jerry Morris displays 365 days a year. Because I love my country. Dissension is our right. Disagreement is healthy. Compromise is better. Separation only weakens us, and anger and hatred only sink us to our enemy's level. Like Matt Rhodes' flag, we need to rise above petty politics and fractional fervor in a renewed spirit of pride and patriotism like we did a decade ago. Larry Himmel, News 8.